Thomas Rickert, Sarah Arroyo, and Jeff Rice all theorized the concept of Cora. Cora is place, space, dance, a dancing floor, invention, becoming, gathering, analogy, chance, collaboration. Cora is felt in the body, its emotion, association, embodiment. Cora is memory, sensation, networking, its mystical, physical, a beginning. I sing, I write, choric, connected, embodied, filled with emotion, together with others. I sing, I write, I compose. Brahms' A German Requiem is a large-scale choral and orchestral work. It was composed in the 1860s in German, and it has seven movements. Brahms employs a fugue in several sections of A German Requiem. A fugue is a musical composition in which one or two themes are repeated or imitated by successively entering voices. These voices are developed through counterpoint in a continuous interweaving of the voice parts. Sound, unlike other modalities, has such a visceral embodied quality because it bounces off surfaces and vibrates in our bones. Oh my gosh, I never thought about this kind of juxtaposition before. One of Cora's essential properties is its connectivity. The moods and memories recovered then link elsewhere through an unfolding and rhizomatic network of associations. They become moments, events, celebrations, and collaboration during which inventions then catch and come into appearance. We sing in layers. Four parts come together to form a whole. I hear myself, air and voice, vibrato, and then I dissolve into the whole. I blend, mesh, listen. The ability to link information, manipulate information easily, morph information, information and so on, lends itself to choral practices. Ulmer named this electronic writing practice choreography and offers a set of instructions for how to be a choreographer. Do not choose between the different meanings of key terms, but compose by using all the meanings. A chorus is the simultaneous utterance in singing, speaking, or shouting. Sound, unlike other modalities, has such a visceral embodied quality because it bounces off surfaces and vibrates in our bones. Oh my gosh, I never thought about this kind of juxtaposition before. In choir, we throw our hands and arms in the air. We stand, we sit, we're told to sit up straight. We make hand motions for vowels. O, like a circle. E, like a line. I write, seated, hands active. The words scritch and click with keys quiet. The sounds of my words hitting together, silent. Sound, unlike other modalities, has such a visceral embodied quality because it bounces off surfaces and vibrates in our bones. Oh my gosh, I never thought about this kind of juxtaposition before. In the space of Cora, the inventor will experience punctums of recognition, third meanings. Cora is place, dance, space, a dancing floor. Cora is felt in the body, chance, gather, collaboration, association, memory, sensation, body, networking, it's mystical, physical. Movement. A beginning. I sing with tears, moved, expressive, listening to melodies, harmonies, and combination. Even in German, I feel the music speaks. I write with smiles and tears, moved, fascinated by connection. Even through sentences, I feel words speak. Because it bounces off surfaces, and vibrates in our bones. Oh my gosh, I never thought about this kind of juxtaposition before. A chord is the simultaneous sounding of a group of musical notes. Chora is three place, notes or more. Space. So for a example, chorus is dance, the song, a dance, a dance, a invention, a speaking, a coming, shout, but they would all be sounded so together a, to analogy, form a chord. Chance. Collaboration. A chord is also a is memory, um, is in the body. It's emotion, math, association, embodiment. And finally, a chord can also be a feeling or emotion it's mystical, as in physical, to strike a chord, a beginning. In choir, I can't sing alone. 
We sing, we work, we tell the story. I hope for times when I forget about myself, clinging to, combining, joining. I write, too, with others. We write, we work, we tell the story. I sing, I write, choric, connected, embodied, filled with emotion. Together with others, I sing, I write, I compose. It's all supposed to kind of connect each other. But how did you feel making these things or experiencing these things today? Cora is place. In the space, space of Cora, the dance, inventor will experience dancing phantoms of recognition, invention, becoming, meaning, gathering, things are messy, analogy, chance, collaboration. Cora is felt in the body, its emotion, association, oh gosh, embodiment, I never thought about this sensation. Kind of it's mystical, physical, Cora is memory, beginning, networking, but composed movement. by using all the meanings. Brahms employs a fugue in several sections of a German record. Jody Shipka. A fugue is a musical composition in which one Mary or two Hawks. themes are repeated or imitated by successively entering Thomas voices. Rickert, Sarah Arroyo, These voices and Jeff are Rice. developed through counterpoint in a continuous interweaving of the voice part. There is a movement to invention, a going beyond boundaries and returning, that precludes its being fixed in place, even though it simultaneously emerges in and through place. It turns back around on itself, ensuring that what remains at the heart of invention is invention itself. <laughs> 